Welcome to our preview of Starnaut, a game that combines impressive graphics, a great soundtrack, and engaging third-person action roguelike gameplay. With a download size of just 10.07 GB, Starnaut offers both Steam achievements and its own in-game achievements. It supports full controller and mouse and keyboard inputs, with settings for invert axis and sensitivity sliders. The game also features a sniper mode for precision aiming. Starnaut is a run-based game where you choose your weapon before each run. The game world is filled with little gotcha-style balls that can be punched open for rewards. You'll also find a shop droid that follows you around, offering upgrades to your attributes such as max HP, healing, attract, and weapons. The game interface is an excellent-looking green screen computer screen, where you can see your stats. Coins earned from enemies can be spent in the shop, and on the main menu, you can buy new weapons and gear. A separate shop deals with your attributes, where you spend gems for permanent unlocks and upgrades. Starnaut features in-game cutscenes and character interactions, and the HUD and damage numbers can be turned on and off. The game encourages you to play how you want. Each run requires you to launch rockets within a set time limit before your oxygen runs out. The game world is wide open, with impressive on-screen enemy counts. Jump pads and nitro boosts help you navigate quickly, and hot springs can be used to replenish your health. A compass at the top of the screen helps you find the rocket and any points of interest. When you die, you can buy a respawn with collected credits or start again. Enemies can drop health and magnets to pick up all coins. The game is split into levels, and launching all 10 rockets clears a level and unlocks a new one. Over time, you can unlock the ability to play as different characters and buy new weapons that act independently. An easy mode can be bought in store for free. While Starnaut has an excellent-looking presentation of the world and characters, it does have some areas for improvement. The game doesn't do the best job of describing what's happening and what the loop is, and the menus can be a bit fiddly and unclear. The base speed of the character is slow, and the HUD customization is limited. There are glitches and issues with Steam achievements not unlocking until the game is shut down. The loop is repetitive and getting to the platform and finding the right jump or teleport is the real challenge. The game also struggles with how it deals with enemies by just constantly throwing them at you no matter where you are. Despite these issues, Starnaut is a game that constantly throws new challenges at you, making each run a unique experience. So, if you're ready for a game that feels like a hidden gem you'd find in a backstreet game shop in Japan, give Starnaut a try. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great reviews and previews of the latest